Hi guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving history through storytelling. Today on the program, I have an update from a previous episode. Episode number five, a Chicago postcard. In that episode, we featured this postcard right here. And it is a quite, uh, it's a unique postcard in that uh, you can read all about the story or listen to it rather uh, in that video. And it's not very long. Um, and on the back, there's some writing. And uh, it was a little bit of a mystery. What was the story behind this? And we had a listener uh, or a watcher of the program actually contact the show just a week or so ago. And he really did some legwork on this and I found it fascinating. So first of all, thank you, Brother David, for, for doing this for us. Um, and I found the information you provided so enlightening and just incredible. Uh, he says, he writes to uh, our Facebook page, I'm enjoying the videos. Please please keep up the good work. Uh, absolutely, we will do our best. Uh, I thought about the postcard that you featured and thought that I would try to find out any information about the people on the back of the card. It certainly isn't conclusive, but I think that the postcard was sent to Frank Lucas in Ithaca, New York from a daughter of his in 1912. Now, on the back of this, you can make out the word Ithaca and Frank Lucas. Pretty crazy. Uh, so also, I, it says, I think she signed Sue. That is partly obscured by the cancellation from the post office. As a former stamp and postcard collector, I can confirm you are correct that 1912 was the year it was sent in the mail. Uh, so yay me, I got something right. <laughs> um, it says, I have attached a page from the 1910 census from Ithaca, New York, that lists Frank Lucas and family. And so actually, we have that right here. I went ahead and printed it out so I could hold it up and show you here, but likely I'll cut away from this and you'll get, you guys will see an actual image of the census form a little bit closer and able to read. Uh, he says he's also attached a page from the Ithaca Journal from 1914. And at the bottom of the page is a funeral notice for one Frank a. Lucas, who passed away. You'll notice that he was a member of the craft, which might explain why his daughter sent him a Masonic postcard just two years before he passed away. It's just a guess, but perhaps it's something to add to the story of the postcard. Perhaps the Brethren of Fidelity Lodge number 51 might know more about Brother Lucas. So I have since reached out to Fidelity Lodge to see if they can provide me anything. I've not received anything yet, but if I get a response or an update, I'll be sure to let all of you guys know. And this comes from uh, Worshipful Master David uh, M. Scorzolo in Algonquin Lodge, number 536, AF and AM, up there in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. So brother, thank you so much for this, and this is what it's all about for me. I think this is incredible, um, and I hope you guys are all enjoying this kind of stuff too. If you've got something that you wanna share, go to MasonicCurators.com or Curators.WCYPodcast.com and check out the guidelines for submitting something of your own. Uh, I'm, I know you guys have cool stuff, and I know people will enjoy hearing the story. Um, it's really easy to do. Just record it with your phone and upload that video to like a Google Drive and send it on over, or even Dropbox. The email address will be right there. Uh, on the page if you just click on uh, guidelines for submissions and you start the program and you end the program and that's it I'm not in it at all um, you can check out how that works by uh, checking uh, brother Stephen L Harrison's latest video who did one for us and it's fantastic about his dad's apron case and worshipful brother Greg Knott as well did a really great one about a grotto drum head that he found uh, or that he actually received uh, so check those out, and if those inspire you, do your own video, send me a link, and we'll get it up on the show or in the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you all next time.